Welcome to Graph Club 2.0. The Graph Club makes it easy for everyone to graph. Using this tool, students can review their data five different ways and compare graphs side by side. It also allows teachers to present information in graph form that is age appropriate for their students. To first begin, click Let's Graph. Once the page is loaded, click Create Graphs. Using information gathered inside and outside the classroom, students can create a graph to display their data. To begin, drag a symbol from the Symbols bin and drag it into its proper column. I'm going to drag four dogs into the dog column. Continue adding symbols. As you can see, when you add one symbol to one graph, the other graph changes as well. You can also change both graphs by clicking and dragging the tops of the bar graphs in the bar graph. If I want to increase my number of cats to 5, I would click the top of the orange bar and drag it up to 5. I now have 5 cats on my left graph and 5 cats on my right graph. To add and change symbols on a graph, you click the blue plus sign next to the symbols bin. First, I'll drag another symbol to my graph by dragging the slider up to 5. This adds another animal to my graph. You can change this symbol by clicking on the Categories tab to see all the different symbols. I'm going to stick with animals. I'm going to switch my fish to a horse by clicking on the horse and dragging it to the fish's spot. The same goes for color. I'm going to change the brown color to purple. Once completed, click OK. Graph Club has hundreds of built-in symbols in 11 different categories that you can use in your graph. You can even add symbols that you've designed yourself in a paint or draw program or import symbols from another program. I am now going to add two horses to my graph by clicking on the horse symbol and dragging it to its proper column. You can also change the scale of the graph by clicking the number in the box at the top and choosing the maximum value you'd like. I'm going to leave mine as 10. Now I'm going to change the labels and add a title. You just click on the text you want to change and type something new. I seem to have already typed in animals, but I have not added a title. This graph is going to represent the class's favorite types of animals. You can also change the graph type, which is a cool feature of the software. With these buttons at the bottom of the graphs, you can change your graph to a circle graph, a line graph, a bar graph, a picture graph, or a table graph. We're going to leave ours as a picture graph. You can display graphs horizontally by clicking the Options tab and clicking Graph Horizontally. As you can see, the cursor on the screen is an X. By clicking on one of your symbols, you can remove it from your graph. I now only have one horse and three cats. My final step is to save my graph so I can print them out or view them later. One of the cool features of the Graph Club is that it allows you to describe your graph. By typing in the notebook at the bottom of your screen, you can put information about your graph. For example, dogs are the most popular animal in our class. You can also record what you want to say about your graph by clicking this button here. Then click the red record button and say what you want to say. Cats are the most popular animal in our class. The green playback button allows you to hear what you've just recorded. Cats are the most popular animal in our class. As you've just heard, I made a mistake. It's really easy to re-record. To begin, click the red re record button again and say what you meant to say. Dogs are the most popular animal in our class. If you like what you've just recorded, click OK. The narration will now be saved to your graph. You can also hide the notebook by clicking on the icon at the bottom of your screen. 
Reclicking it will have the notebook reappear. Besides creating your own graphs, the Graph Club features fun activities where students can practice their graphing skills. This is both a means of expression and active engagement, relating back to the topics discussed in class. Click Match Graphs for challenges. The computer automatically makes a picture graph. Now I have to match the bar graph identical to the graph on the left. After dragging down the right amount of symbols, I will click Check My Match. Now I'm going to click Check My Match. As you can see, the computer is telling me I made a mistake. I can easily fix this by dragging the bar to the proper amount and clicking Check My Match once again. I have properly matched the two graphs. There are more than 20 different activities in the four subject areas tabs. To view the activities, just click the tab and then choose a topic of choice. There are four different menus of activities, math, social studies, science, and language arts. I'm going to choose a language arts activity called creative writing. A dialog will pop up, including the many different activities in the subject you've chosen. There is one activity in creative writing, Maria's Fend. If you click on Maria's Friends and then click Open, the activity will open. You can read or listen to the directions of the activity found in the notebook, which will tell you what to do. There are many different features the Graph Club has to offer. Try clicking other menus and option buttons to explore them. Teachers will also find information in the teacher's guide, including a detailed walkthrough and lesson ideas, making it a great tool for their classroom. Graph Club 2.0 solves organizational and visual problems many students encounter while trying to create graphs. Graph Club 2.0 makes sorting information for students fun, easy, and time efficient.